What's happening everybody been here? Today we are making a London broil. First part of making a London broil, or to making a London broil, is a good piece of meat. Uh, I've got a two pound London broil. Now what we're going to do is get it ready to be cooked because, like the name suggests, we are actually going to broil it. So over here I got a nice little Pyrex. I coated the bottom with olive oil. You're going to take your broil, put it in the Pyrex, swash it around, and then flip it. Slash it around again. Okay, so it's all coated with the oil. Then you're going to take three cloves of finely minced garlic. If you have one of those crushers, use that. It's easier. And you're going to sprinkle the garlic on top of the broil. If it clumps up, you could always just take the garlic and shift it around. That's no big deal. Okay. Now that side's been coated with some garlic. You're going to flip it. Okay, you can rub the excess oil off, no big deal. Come back over to your big pile of garlic. And yes, that was three cloves. It just happened to be the biggest cloves on the bulb. Because we like garlic. Realistically, it makes the meat taste good. Alright. Now that you have this coated with olive oil and garlic, you're going to put a lid on it and leave it at room temperature for two hours so the garlic can soak in to the broil and also so it can warm up that way when we do broil it it cooks uh, more evenly and to where we can get that nice medium rare to rare cook. So what you're going to do, like I said, leave this covered at room temperature for two hours and you're going to flip it every 30 minutes. So it's 4.30 right now, flip it at 5, flip it at 5.30, flip it at 6, and then it's ready to go in the oven at 6.30. So we'll be back when this is all done and ready to go in the oven. All right, the moment we've been waiting for, two hours and a few broil flips in the making. If you see stuff over here while I'm doing this, it's because I'm doing three different videos at once. It kind of encompasses my whole dinner. All right, so what we got going on here. Let's go to the oven first. <clears throat> Explain this. You're going to take your oven rack and put it as high as it can. That top rack is too close to the broiler. You want to have at least six inches off that broiler when the meat's in there. All right. A pan for broiling. That'll catch all the drippings. If you don't have one of these, if your oven has two racks in it, use the other rack to hold the meat and put a baking sheet underneath it. There you go. Problem solved. Now what we're going to do... Uh, my wife moved stuff around. No, she didn't. I'm just lazy. You're going to take some sea salt. Right there on top. Okay. And your broiler is set to high. Alright. There it goes. That will work. It's centered. Looks good. Good deal. Alright. Five minutes each side. When you flip it, you salt it. So, I'll be back when it's done. All right, the London broil is fresh out of the oven. Five minutes each side, salting each side as you flip it. I'm going to give this about two or three minutes or so, so it can uh, settle, and then I'm going to cut it up. All right, there you have it. Medium rare. Nice, delicious, and it only took five minutes per side. On broil. So please like, subscribe, and comment, and thanks for watching.